Hey, so as I'm recording this, this pack came out over three weeks ago, and I'm sorry for not covering it sooner. It was covered by a friend of mine who stepped in for me in my daily series. If you're not aware, I make videos every single day on the BR shop and all the Save the World missions. So if you want something to subscribe for, there you go. But a friend of mine, Matteo, kicked in. He's a really, really good streamer. He's been covering my dailies for me on occasion, him and a few friends of mine. Sometimes I'm very, very late. I'm out with the lady friend, and I just can't be here on time. So when he covered it, not only did somebody else cover it, so it wasn't really stuck in my mind, but it wasn't even available in the shop, so you couldn't buy it normally right away. I just forgot this pack existed. Now, I don't feel too bad. I have covered every single pack to date, and I want to keep that trend going. Back in the day, you used to get like a reskin hero and a reskin weapon. It used to be called a Save the World starter pack because these are actually how you get Save the World. You do not become a founder. You do not earn V-Bucks from the regular missions. I know I put the V-Bucks in the rewards, in the missions a lot on my channel. I am talking to founders. As a Save the World player purchasing this pack for the very first time, if you're just getting the game for the first time, you will only be getting extra tickets. I get that question every time I want to get it out of the way. You will get the 1500 V-Bucks available through the challenges if you purchase this pack, but you will not be able to earn more V-Bucks in Save the World. So they're really not a Save the World starter pack nowadays. They're more of a Battle Royale skin bundle that gives you Save the World. And as my main primary channel content is currently Fortnite Save the World, I, I am sort of obliged to at least introduce this to you guys in case you want to try it out. Feel free to, hey, you know, use code MISTA on anything. It really does support me. I do this full time and creators get 5% of your purchase and it helps out a lot. But it's pretty much exactly what you see. When you purchase this pack for 16 US or maybe you guys can get a deal or if it's different in your currency, then hey, good for you. You might um, be able to get that at a better deal. You will get Save the World, which is honestly awesome. Save the World is something I can actually show you now. Uh, a game with basically two years of content minimum so this is the yearly content timeline i will remember to link this down below i'm sure it is uh linked in all my daily videos as well this is everything that comes out and save the world on a timeline there are new things that pop in periodically in fact i just edited this to this this year actually because fenix just released new to the game pretty cool uh character i actually link all my videos on this if you guys want to get informed it's all of this every single week there's a new hero new weapon or if you're brand new to the game it'll be new to you uh to try out and play with and i've always believed that save the world is for at least the first year really fun there's a lot of things to try out tons of different loadouts in fact Lately on my channel, I've been going over literally fun 160s. 160s are the hardest missions in the game, but all of these loadouts will work in any zone. Super, super fun ways to play. Sometimes these loadouts don't work out and they're garbage. Sometimes they're so strong I make a video twice. And that kind of stuff can be really, really enjoyable if you've never played Save the World before. And then I say two years of content because the second time around you get to fill up your collection book and it's a good time, honestly. If you can get two years of consistent daily play from a game that you paid $16 for, I think that's a good deal. And I on top of that, you can get Battle Pass XP from Save the World. And on top of that, you get more XP uh, per hour from Save the World than Battle Royale. In fact, you get so much XP that they had to cap it. I'll link this video down below. Obviously, you can see the best missions in the game right there, but this video gets further into it, and the spreadsheet will be linked in that video as well. Down below, trust me, this is... Uh, if you're, if you're somebody who only plays VR, Save the World is actually really good for filling out your uh, your battle pass. In fact, I have played four games this season. I'm level 34. Four games this season of BR, and I've actually, I'm a third of the way through the regular part of the battle pass. That's how good Save the World can be. So, all of that aside, I haven't talked about the pack itself that much because it's just an outfit. Whether or not you think the Nia skin is something you'd want to run, it's completely up to you. My opinion is irrelevant. Uh, I just use Lex all the time, so I don't really use, I don't really buy these anyway. Um, and it's $16, like real life money for a skin that, uh, you know, I've already got Lex ago. I mean, shoot, just look at my wallpaper. I, uh, I, tip I obviously have a favorite skin, so I don't really worry about it too much. But if that's something you're interested in, you can grab it and uh that's my little introduction to save the world if you've never tried it and uh yeah there you go so that's how you get save the world this is the current way to do it um it's always a good deal these packs are really great because like i said save the world used to be 20 dollars. i guess i didn't say this but I, like i said it's a good deal because save the world used to be 20 dollars on discount and then if you were a founder it was 40 dollars just to get started now it's 16 dollars, and you get all this uh free cosmetics and 1500 v bucks on top of it not a bad deal. Not a bad deal. I don't. Uh, I don't think it's uh, something you should miss out on. I didn't want to say. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Uh, see you in the next one. Take it easy. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.